Day on the All right, Russ Newton featuring Exodus there with the song Bariki, kicking us off this morning. Karibu Sana, this is Full Circle with Joyce. It is Friday. We're excited for the weekend, excited for all that we've done this week. And hopefully you guys do feel the same. I did ask you guys to share what your inspiration has been this week. So please do keep that coming. Double two triple nine is the SMS sign. You can also reach me on our Facebook page at Switch TV Kenya. Uh, on Inst on Twitter at Switch TV Kenya and on Instagram at Switch TV K E. All right, as I did say, leo chuko na makeki na mathwiti. Literally, ta da! Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? <laughs> We're about to have a sugar rush here on Full Circle with Joyce. But um, we want to talk about the cake festival that is actually coming up this weekend. And joining me in studio, I have Simon Wanjiao, a.k.a. Biggie, <laughs> from Kobe's Kitchen. He's the one with the chef's hat right here. And then we have Emmanuel Mamadi from Edumed Trust, um, who are part of the organizers of yeah. Cake Festival. Yeah. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, it's really good to have you uh, both here. Um, so very quickly, maybe you can begin by explaining what Edumed Trust is and how they ended up sort of putting together a cake festival. Okay, yeah. So Edumed Trust is a Christian-based organization. Yeah, it was founded in 1996, and uh, it's an organization that supports bright needy students. Mm -hmm. So Edumen Trust came about that, and from 1996, they supported one lady who was in need of trying to get a fee for herself. Mm -hmm. So the founder came up with the idea, and a friend of the founder who c came and told her, rather than just doing a one-off thing, how about you just come up with something like a festival mm -hmm. where something will be generated out of this. Okay. So the need for this lady going to school, it was replicated all over the country. Right. So education was so much and people really needed it. Mm -hmm. So in 2009, that's when the Keck Festival was born. Mm -hmm. So this year we'll be celebrating 10 years, 10 year anniversary for the Keck wow. Festival. So the Edumed Trust, it, it has been there supporting these bright and needy students mm -hmm. all over the country, mm -hmm. giving them scholarship from in secondary school. Okay. That is from Form 1 up to Form 4. Right. So me, as I'm talking right now, I'm a beneficiary. Good for you. Yeah, they sponsor Good me through you. high school. Through high school, they yeah. sponsored you. Yes. Okay, okay. So the Cake Festival, what, what's, what's the actual then detail of it? So you've been doing this for a while now. So what does the actual festival look like? Do we just come there ready to have sugar rushes yes. <laughs> and uh, pack on some calories? Or what ha actually happens during the day? Yeah, the Cake Festival involves so many things. It usually has bakers, mm -hmm. it has kids, it has sponsors and each and every any other person can come at the cake festival. Okay. So the cake festival, it always involves, like bakers, they're giving out their skills mm -hmm. and doing these, their skills and talent, they're able to come and display. And also it's a platform for upcoming bakers. So upcoming bakers can come and get to know and there are also live demonstrations that are going on. Wow, okay, so it's like a teaching. There's a lot of teaching that Yeah, goes there's on. a lot of yeah. teaching that's happening All there. right, well, yeah. Biggie, tell us. I mean, um, what does it take to be a good baker? What are you teaching, guys? Uh, what, what you're teaching, guys, is um, uh, that uh, education is important, but also there's, a, there's something beyond that. And also, we are giving back to the society with something that we love doing, mm -hmm. the, the cake. So. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go for the cake festival and educate a child right. uh, for years yeah. and also do something that I love and also get to network with other bakers right. and also get to market my my, my business because yeah. it's out of town. People don't know now this is a sh it's the biggest uh, festival uh, in Kenya. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And so when it comes to baking itself, you know, you have some very beautiful cakes here. Thank you very much. Um, there's a doll cake and that reminds me of my childhood. I think the the time I felt like I loved my parents the most, most. was when they got me a doll cake for my mm. seventh birthday. <laughs> you know, those childhood whimsical things. Yes. Um, but you have a lot, all sorts of different effects here on these cakes. Yeah. Um, so maybe you can just walk us through what we're seeing. All right. Uh, well, um, uh, they are airbrushes. Um, uh, they represent the artistic background for where we've come from. Uh, uh, we have a very young team, very talented. Uh, now is when we are learning how to use the airbrush and everything. And we also get to showcase the, the things that we can do in our shops, in our two shops, one in Thika and one in Rero. And we also have a fresh cream cake, which is caramel, which okay. is one of our best-selling cakes. 
the fresh cream, that one at the yeah, front. Yeah, that one at the front. And you said it's caramel? It's caramel. I think that's the one we're going to cut. Mm -hmm. I just want my people here to start. What don't know when I'm at it. And what are we, what are, it's been a long week. It's yeah, Friday. It's Friday. It's the best you can way. have a little cheat day. Yes. Because, you know, we're still on our health goals, guys. Yes. <laughs> so you can have a little cheat day. Okay. Um, so tell us then about the actual festival itself. Is it over one day? Is it two days? Um you know how many vendors or you know people on display do we can we expect to see just give us a few more details okay the cake festival it usually has more than 70 bakers wow all over the country and also we over the past years you've had bakers outside from outside the country from wow. west africa coming in to display uh -huh. and also taking part in it okay yeah so all those people are there mm -hmm. you see uh -huh. yeah and it's one day or it's two days? No, it's a day event. It's but this year event. we did it differently. As I'm speaking right now, there's a summit, East African Baking Summit, oh, going wow. on in Lyco Regency. Okay. And it started yesterday. Okay. So the East African Baking Summit, it brought all the people in the baking industry, from, right. from, the, from the chefs to the bakers to the manufacturers, manufacturers the academia and everyone. Mm -hmm. So it, now that East Africa Baking Summit, it mm -hmm. culminates to the Cake Festival, mm -hmm. which is happening tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So for you as a baker, you're going to be displaying some of your goods then tomorrow? Definitely. This is the first time you're coming out. Uh, our business started in 2016, but I've been in the business, uh, in the hospitality industry for the longest time. I okay. was uh, previously an executive chef at the Intercon. Now, this is when I'm coming now out with my own baby, the business yeah. that is co-owned by me and my wife. And your passion then is the cakes? And my passion is in cakes. Okay, yeah. okay. So you've been preparing all week. How many, are you like displaying a lot of cakes tomorrow? Uh, well, we're dis displaying like five cakes and obviously we'll have our dummies to showcase what you can do other than that. Yeah. Apart from uh, uh, supporting the kids, uh, the cake festival also opens up uh, a market for us bakers. Mm -hmm. So it's also for us to target new new new, new clients. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. definitely we'll bring our A game. Okay. Yeah. So talk to us then about the actual process of baking. For those who are very keen on learning, yeah. you know, um, what, would, what would be some of your top tips that you can share for aspiring bakers? Uh, for aspiring bakers, is first of all, know your market. Uh, your market your market is diverse like uh, there are people who like the fresh cream cake and there are people who like the dry cakes start from there and then know where to buy your ingredients and know how to market especially the social media uh, don't go for the website first start with the social media and women normally network a lot so start with the charmers and and that and they'll support you okay yes so did you happen to learn any baking skills when you're in the trust well um, <laughs> as you're sort of putting together the festival have you been able to pick up a thing or two just the basics just the basics yeah just the basics. so you can bake something i can bake something okay it's, okay it's baking gully baking <laughs> <laughs> why gully is being baked yani bougie galore yani ugali awapi it is being baked wow mm. hey my friend okay yeah. um so <laughs> hey I had to back, I'm almost <laughs> losing my train of thought. But yeah. uh, tell us about the trust again and about how many students have been through this program. About how many people have been able so to. So far, they've it. supported 438, to be exact. Wow. Students. This is paying their high schools. Yeah, paying their high schools. Wow. You know, it just amazing. gives you that foundation. Yeah. Then from there, you can just start and fly. Because from high school, when you, they've already supported you, so they can just. For them, they're strictly high school. So 438 have gone through, and as of now, we have 95 students in the program Okay. from 71 schools all okay. over the country. Right. Yeah. And of all the things that you could have used, I guess, to draw people's attention to this cause, yeah. why cake? Why cake? People love cake. <laughs> That's true. People love cake. People love and cake. And also, so it's, you know, in African setting, food is something that brings us together. Uh -huh. And cake is part of food. Uh -huh. So this is something that always brings us together. But also, Edimen has other activities okay yeah that also but this is just one of the crowdfunding event they actually always have three activities okay the first one is usually the student mentorship program the mentorship program that usually happens in august mm -hmm. so that one is also by edumen so we call those students that are being supported we bring them together and now they're trying we are trying to showcase to them why we are doing this why their fee is being paid and we mentor them we showed them like we mentor them both life mm -hmm. and also in terms of academics. Mm -hmm. this, the second one is also a charity dinner. Also, this one it brings together other people who can maybe buy a table or something else. And so, 
people can they support the student if you now decide to pledge and say you want to support one student people usually do that mm -hmm. you can say you want to maybe buy a pack maybe just do a pack of 1000 shilling or 500 or 2000 just do that even if it's for girls for supplying sanitary pads okay yeah um and biggie uh, for you tell us again like your specific purpose with being a part of this cause why is this important to you uh, uh it's very important because we've d been doing a lot of csr but you don't know what the end result is once you give the money once you give uh, your financial support you don't know how well uh, it's taken care of but with edmund trust uh, we believe uh, by partnering with them uh, the uh, the people will be able to pull in the ticket from the ticket sales and everything will go to a good cause mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yeah. and then in terms of now you as like a professional yes. obviously you, you you did mention that you've been you were an executive chef at uh, intercon previously before. but yes. you know right now as a baker yeah. if i'm if there's someone who's watching this and perhaps maybe wants to aspire to be a baker one yes. day what does that process actually look like for them at the well, it looks easy and rosy from the outside, believe me. Once I came in, I, was, uh, I thought um, uh, the, the end all. But once you come into business, you find out that there's a lot of things that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to f get someone who will mentor you, who will take you through the steps. And uh, through the mentorship, you'll, you'll avoid mistakes that have been done by the previous people. Okay. Yes. Can you talk to us about one of your biggest mistakes or one of the things that you, you thought was a very difficult lesson, but one you needed to learn anyways? Um, well, I went to the, being a chef and uh, being used to the good things in the hotel, I went to, for the best equipment, which was pretty expensive. And uh, the return to investment takes a long time. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's one of the mistakes I did. Okay. So start small, grow with the business, let the business ask for the for the equipment and uh, the growth. Right. Yeah, don't go big, go small fast. All right, yeah. all right. Killer, everything has a small beginning yes, and it's it okay. Yeah. All right, so as we get ready to <laughs> cut that cake, <kick, Yeah. laughs> um, maybe first uh, you can just touch on what you're doing now because when, when did you clear high school? Is this a while ago? I cleared high school in 2012. 2012, yeah. okay. And since then you've been working with the trust? I've always been a volunteer. I've always been in the trust. Okay. Since I, I cleared high school, then I joined the university. Okay. Yeah, I joined the university. I studied my Bachelor of Arts. In, I did a double major in okay. political science and I'm conflict and peace study. Good for you. Yeah. Which university? The University of Nairobi. Shout out. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us then tomorrow, how do we get in? <laughs> how much cake are we allowed to eat? Where is this place? <laughs> so that we can make sure that we're there. So. Tomorrow, the event will be at Carnival Grounds. Okay. Yeah, it's starting at 10, up to 5 p.m. And you're allowed to eat as many cakes as you want. Once so you literally, you can actually just go around to the 70 bakers you said. You go around. They'll have samples for everybody to they try. They have samples. Amazing. They have yeah. samples. Okay. Yeah, you'll eat as many cakes as you want. Uh-huh. And there'll be so much fun, apart from just the cake. There'll be music. Okay. There'll be so live entertainment. You'll also learn live demonstration from the bakers here nice of like yeah. decorating the cake decorating there's also be actual competition yeah oh wow yeah. Yeah. sounds like it's gonna be a lot of great activities lined up for people and yeah. so thank you guys for coming through and thank you for you also supporting this great cause uh, congratulations to the Edmund Trust for the good work that they're doing cake festival tomorrow what are the charges yeah the charges are 1200 at the gate 1200 as a, at yeah, the gate. Yeah, but I'm speaking right now, it's 1000 because it's an advanced ticket. Okay. If you want to get your ticket, go to www.ticketsasa.com. All right. Yeah. So with that said, can we cut this cake? Yes, you can. All right, not. let's do it. So tell us again, you said this is a caramel cake. It's a caramel cake uh, uh, glazed with uh, chocolate. Um, the caramel, we make it uh, ourselves. Uh, uh, learning the the skills so everything I make from scratch. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, chef, let's do the honors. All right. Uh, I believe we have a knife somewhere. Yes, we do. A big piece or a small piece? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut a small piece for my director yeah. and then a big piece for the rest of the All right. <laughs> Look at that. It's a beautiful cake. Yes. Thank you very much. Wow, that's very beautiful. <laughs> you know the Kenyans want to sing a song all the time when you mm. when first. you Oh, yeah. thank you. All right. Let's try this out, guys.
That's really good. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Wow. I think um, you guys need to leave because I'm really trying to, you know, maintain things. <laughs> it's Friday. This is life. so good. Thank you. Wow. Very, very well done, Chef. Thank you. Just for those who want to know where they can find you, how do we find you? Uh, our, first, our first branch is located at Spa Mall, mm -hmm. uh, which is on Take Road on uh, exit 13 next to Nibs. It's mm -hmm. a new mall on Take Road. And the other one is on Thika Super Highway. Uh, uh, no, in Thika Gresa Highway. Okay. As you're getting into Thika Town. Wow. Yes. You enjoying that? It's awesome. It's good, isn't it? It's so good. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. All right, guys. With that said, we're going to take a short break. But when we come back, we're going to switch gears and start talking about how you can style and maintain your dreadlocks. Stay tuned. I'm going to finish this thing. <laughs>